Welcome back to 8-Bit Armies and welcome to the yeah. third mission for the Guardians. This time we have a survival mission, so we need to hold out for 15 minutes. Or alternatively, we can just destroy everything. Or primarily the enemy's HQ, which shouldn't be too difficult if we focus a little bit. So let's see, do we... no, we do not have a, a motor pool yet. But we're going to get to that. Let's build one now. And we may as well get a couple of rocket guys here. They're not super useful, but they're also somewhat somewhat cheap, so... That's nice, I guess. Let's also build another refinery right here. The building system allows you to build near stuff you already have. There's no real expansion unit, which means that you have to chain everything, which can be a little bit inconvenient, but it's not super bad. Get a bunch of you here. And, I don't know, let's build more of you. They're already destroying stuff here. That's okay. We're going to move out soon anyway. And if we... If you show a little bit of patience, we'll have an army that allows us to pretty much overrun everything they have here anyway. How about we build another one of you here? Yeah, that would be a good idea, I think. Yeah, we're not going to rush this too much, because I don't really want to attack them multiple times. What I want to do is just build up an army move over to the enemy base and then just crush them in one blow because if we lose we'll probably need too much time to rebuild everything again but that's okay also i guess i could build one or two more of you there's a story here it's about a guy named kain not Cain. Kain and his evil army and they want to take all the world the story is even more basic than the one in forged battalion it's essentially we're the good guys they're the bad guys. They have the same tech. There's only one faction here, or at least was initially. They added a couple of other ones via expansions, uh, including one free one called the Guardians, but we'll see about that later. We do have some base defense here. Those are actually fairly powerful. This one here is the anti-infantry one. There's one against infantry, one against vehicles, and one against air units, because you have to be careful here about not, not getting too creative. And... These are actually somewhat useful, especially against the AI because they don't blob hard enough. But that's okay. We will build another arms factory here so we can build our vehicles a little bit faster. I'm not quite sure whether there's an upper limit on how many production facilities you can have to still get a bonus, but it's very high. It goes up at least to like 10 times or so. Anyway, more of you please. Another useful feature here is that if you select your army, then you don't select any of your your oil tankers here, which is great because you never want to select those guys anyway, and you probably most of the time want to select all of your your guys and just create one fancy blob. And yeah, let's build more of you. And once you've like five minutes left or so, we're probably going to going to move out. Let's fix you as well if we can. There we go. And we may as well build one more of these here. Then we might last pretty much forever here. What are you doing? Never mind. This one here might die, but it's okay because we've got a second one now. And this medium tank here is going to die soon. Hopefully. There we go. I think these are actually all going to make it. The enemy usually is a little bit ahead of you with regard to tech. But that's okay, because the AI is not super sm That's not what I want to build here. The AI is not super smart, so it's not too concerning that they have a little bit of an edge here. Let's get more rocket guys. A lot more rocket guys after this, because we do have so much income right now that we're probably not going to manage to even spend all of our money. And you can see our vehicles are built pretty swiftly at this point. So we have the quadruple bonus now, so let's make that a quintuple bonus. Of course, you also need power plants. We've demonstrated that during the last mission, but you don't need that many until you start building super weapons. Those drain a lot of power, but that's okay. Base offenses drain a moderate amount of power. It's not too bad, but you probably won't. A couple of extra ones because losing access to all your base defenses just because you're low on power is not so great. Let's move over here. Are there any crates? Yeah, there's crates here. Let's just move over here because... Machine we'll need some time complete. anyway and you need infantry to pick up turrets so they do have they're almost 
that makes them almost useful. That's money credit, I could have picked that up a little bit earlier, but nobody cares. So let's just move over here, and then let's maybe just dodge the enemy units that are sent towards our base. And in the meantime, we may as well add you guys here to our army. Oh well, not really 8-bit army because this this is definitely not an 8-bit game. It doesn't even look like an 8-bit game, so it's not even a pixel graphic game. It's more like a Minecraft style. It does run somewhat smooth, so I guess that's one advantage here. It looks somewhat colorful as well, but overall it's just fairly generic. Let's build another power plant here because I feel like doing that. And then let's destroy the enemy HQ. As you can see, they don't really put much pressure on us here. There are various difficulty levels here. On the highest one, uh, some of the mid-campaign missions become a bit more difficult, but you can always replay them later once you already have all your bonuses because they carry between difficulties. There we go. In my opinion, the campaigns are most... or the campaign, rather. There's only one in the base game. They are most difficult... Oh, these guys here walked all the way back to... back home. Are most difficult... in the middle of the campaign because that's the spot where you probably have a couple of bonuses but not that many at the same time the difficulty keeps keeps increasing naturally whereas later on you'll have so many bonuses that you can just essentially start every mission by just having a massive army just there and immediately going on the offensive and, and destroying stuff left and right also, we should definitely build more. Oops, no, not more of you, more of you here, because we might need some reinforcements after all. But more about that in a bit. For now, let's destroy all of you here. Uh, I could just move, move towards the HQ straight away, but that strikes me as a little bit too risky. And thankfully, these guys here are anti-infantry-based defenses. They're not anti-vehicle-based defenses. They deal okay damage against my vehicles, but they're not that great. So, yeah, I won't have that many problems just taking these guys here out. Also, reinforcements, please. And we still have two and a half minutes left, so this shouldn't be too bad. This is generally how it works. Make one big blob of your best units and make sure that you prioritize whatever you need to destroy. I don't need to take out those guys because the HQ here, as you can see, goes down fairly swiftly anyway. So we don't really need to clear out anything else. Yellow player eliminated. Mission complete. And there we go. Once more, we are victorious with all the bonus objectives. So let's see. We do get extra power, that's important because you can actually end up getting so many bonuses but missing out on a couple of power plants that you start all missions with low power, which is not great. And extra base defenses are neat as well. In the end, you will have so many that in the beginning, the enemy really, really can't touch your base, which is also very useful. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.